Hello everyone, here's Max Kordek with a very short video on how to vote for your favorite delegate on LISC version 3. Why is that? The LISC mainnet migration was a full success and with that a new delegated proof of stake consensus algorithm is now live on the network. And for the first week it's still using the old delegate set. However, in a few days, current calculations estimate either Sunday night or Monday morning, a new delegate selection will come into play. And here it's extremely important that every list community uh, member and every, every list holder is voting for their favorite delegate because they are securing the list network and make sure that everything is secure and stable. So let me show you how to vote. First you sign in with your passphrase and then on the left side in the navigation you have a delegates entry. Click on that and you see a bit of like a statistic and overview um, of the delegates and their forging details. Then if you scroll down you see a list of all the registered delegates on the network. Um, let me search for one I would like to vote for, let's say Hirish, who is currently working on the Trezor and Ledger hardware wallet implementation. And here, by clicking on his name, we're getting to his profile, where we see under his balance a button called Add to Votes. We click on that and insert the number of LSK we want to vote with. Um, in the new Delegate Proof of Stake Consensus algorithm in LISC version 3, you can vote for up to 10 delegates. And if you vote, these LSK tokens are locked for six hours um, before they become usable again. So you have to make a plan before for whom you want to vote so that you can maximize your vote amount. Uh, let's say you have 100 list tokens in your account and you want to vote for 10 delegates, then of course you should distribute your votes in a way that all your 100 lists are being used for voting. Here in this case, let's say I want to vote with 10 lists. I confirm it. And then we see on the top left a voting queue with a tiny uh, little number one because one vote was being executed um, or, or added to the queue. Um, and here we have an overview of all the votes. We can vote, like I said, for 10 delegates at the same time. So let's continue searching for some delegates we want to vote for. Um, after selecting the first one, we also going to select Musti who is the team behind the LISC Explorer called LISCScan.com. So let's add some votes here as well. Let's add 20 LSK to it. Click on confirm. Here we see the little number becoming 2 um, and Musti being added to the voting queue. We can also search for a delegate by typing the name in here. Let's say Carbonara. Um, is someone we want to vote for because he is developing another LISC explorer called LISC.observer. We're adding here some votes too and click on confirm. Now he's being added to the voting queue as well. But we think maybe the effort of Hirish is on the same level as from Musti and Carbonara. That's why we want to edit the vote and also contribute 20 LSK to him. After that's Done, we only have to click on continue, reconfirm that everything is correct, see that the transaction fee is extremely low in comparison to the LISC version 2 before, and click on confirm. Votes are submitted, we're going to the wallet, and here it is already, currently pending but should be confirmed within 10 seconds. So it's already um, confirmed, it's just not updated here in the overview, but we see that 60 lists are locked now. They're being um, subtracted from the overall balance, so please don't get a shock. Um, the lists are still in your hands, they're just being locked away um, in the staking mechanism of our new delegated proof-of-stake consensus algorithm. If we go to the dashboard, we don't see the locked away, so please don't be afraid. All right, that's it already. Um, that's how the new voting works. And I hope that everyone is voting for the new favorite delegates to secure the LISC version 3 network. Thank you so much.